Yes. Not only is it the last review, but it's the last video period for this year. The Charles Dickens classic, A Christmas Carol. And not just any iteration, what is said to be the definitive iteration of the classic tale. The one from 2009 with Jim Carrey. Let's get right into it. Alright, so, Scrooge. If you've heard anyone say, oh, that person, they're such a Scrooge. This is what they mean. But I'll, I'll get into his character later on. And so, he is so bitter that everyone just hates his guts. Like, literally in the beginning, you literally see, you literally see in the beginning two kids running away from him. Just the sight of him scares off children. He's literally visited by three ghosts. The ghost of Christmas past. The ghost of Christmas present. And the ghost of Christmas yet to come. And they are going to show him what he was like as a young boy. And show how he changed over time. And then... In the present, he's going to show him what people think of him behind closed doors when they're allowed to criticize him without, you know, without him hearing. And he does not like it at all. In fact, with the first ghost, when he shows him his past, I am the ghost of Christmas past. Like my name, I will show you. Your past. <laughs> the Grinch. Okay, never play that again. Anyway, when he gets rid of the Ghost of Christmas past, he puts like the nightcap on him, and they go, and he shoots up into the sky. Ah, ah! Hey, I can see my house up here. Ah, ah! And all the iterations of this story, I've never seen. One where Scrooge almost goes to space. You get a glimpse of him changing when he's meeting up with the Ghost of Christmas Present. Which, I actually thought this was interesting. All three ghosts were played by Jim Carrey. Ghost of Christmas Future. He pretty much finds out that when he dies, the only reason anyone would show up to his funeral is for lunch. Toward the end, right as he's about to be put in his... Literally put in his own grave. He he finally decides, you know, he basically has his George Bailey moment. And he's just like, he wants to he, he wants to live again. He he promises that he'll change. Spirit, I'll do anything. I'll chase down Sonic the Hedgehog if I have to. And of course he wakes up and he goes and starts making up with all the people he wronged the previous day, and seeing Jim Carrey, seeing Jim Carrey be so happy, it honestly put a smile on my face, because I just, I love Jim Carrey. So overall, I really love this story, and fun fact, the guy that directed this movie, Robert Zemeckis, he's the same director as Forrest Gump. Polar Express, Roger Rabbit, Beowulf, Castaway, and all of the Back to the Future movies. Scrooge is just like, he's the main character who obviously towards the end he learns, you know, to treat others right. Or else he's going to end up alone for the rest of his life and all that. Blah, 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 blah. He's the meanest, the absolute meanest character in the movie sure like all the other characters are like being mean like saying like, when they're playing charades when his nephew is ho hosting a christmas party during the christmas present section one lady says anas his nephew says well yeah well yes and no and then she gets gets his right when she says oh, i got it it's your uncle scrooge that's pretty mean but when you see how mean he is it's kind of justified. And like I said, he's played by Jim Carrey. And fun fact, his character, the man that trained him, 
to be like the businessman he is. I I honestly, it was such a quick section of the movie that I I totally missed his name, but he was voiced by Bob Hoskins. Mambo. Yes, there you go. The last Balto reference for the rest of the year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The only character that actually shows him empathy, besides his nephew, um, Cratchit, <clears throat> played by Gary Oldman, <laughs> really think about this. He's the only person that defends Scrooge. He's famous for playing Dracula. And Jim Carrey, what's the one role you associate him with when it comes to Christmas? Other than this movie. The Grinch. Dracula was standing up for defending. Defending the Grinch. Really think about that for a second. He at least sees some good in Scrooge. And at the same time, like, Scrooge literally... Cratchit is literally in the back watching Scrooge chew out this businessman trying to get him to donate to charity. And he says... I only want to be left alone. I spent an entire movie saying yes to everything. And what it, what did it get me? Zoe de Chanel breaking up with me. At least Cratchit, Cratchit was actually right to see good in Scrooge. So, he's easily the best character of the movie. And he's not even in the movie that much. What I didn't like is that this movie gets a lot of hate. Sure, like, the animation is a little off, the character designs can be a bit creepy. But when you really see Robert Zemeckis' animation movies, like, animated movies, they... It's kind of a staple that he does CGI films now. I mean, it started with Polar Express and then with Beowulf. I can sort of get that part. But at the same time, like, that guy gave us Forrest Gump. And besides, people still say that this is the definitive Christmas Carol movie. And whenever I hear a Christmas Carol, I always think of this version. I absolutely love this movie. And it was a blast watching it again. Because... I love Robert Zemeckis, I love Jim Carrey, love Gary Oldman. I'm honestly glad that I reviewed this movie because it's been it's been that kind of year, let's be honest. For me, the year started out terrible, and then and I'm ending it on a high note, and a whole bunch of good st stuff is happening in my life. Sure, I've had some ups and downs with my mental health and all that, but I'm still alive. And I'm still, I'm making videos that I love. I didn't even have to be visited by three ghosts. I really hope y'all enjoy Christmas month. I really hope, I just, I just really hope that y'all had a good year. Until next time, stay positive and stay awesome, everyone. See you in 2023.